let's talk pricing. The, I, okay. And that's where I was going. Is like the okay. biggest mistake about pricing that you see. Okay. I'll list a few. Some of the biggest mistakes we see around pricing is they say, well, I look at what the other firm owners are doing in my area and I need to be competitive on price with them. So I call that doing market research, which is probably the worst idea you could ever do. Seeing what everyone else is charging or offering is a really horrible idea for you to stand out from the rest mm -hmm. and charge premium fees. That's another one. Or maybe I've heard from some of our current students that they don't do any of this anymore, but they would say, okay, well, Michelle, I called 10 accounting and tax firms and I just took an average of everything that I asked them about their pricing. So another horrible thing is that a firm owners are just telling prices like we're a menu at Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. That shouldn't happen. Well, and I want to just admit for the sake of transparency, that's how I used to advise people like a decade ago. Um, a decade ago, yeah. Yeah, well, charge by the form, you know, yeah. like keep pushing those fees up. But the value pricing model was not something that I leaned into until mm -hmm. I actually got started doing a lot more work with Dominique as well and kind of heard her concept on that. But let me shut up and you, you. Yeah, no, it's still the default pattern that we see, you know? I mean, I've been back and forth with a prospect just for fun at this point. And he's like, Michelle, I make $208 an hour. I've done an analysis. It took him two weeks to do this analysis. I'm <laughs> like, well, if you think that's great, then I can't help you. There's nothing else that I can do. You know, if you've got confidence and you're this and that, and like, if that's the way you think about pricing and you're going to just stay stuck in those ways, Denise and I can't really support. But anyway, another thing that I've seen a lot of firm owners do um, to figure out their prices that they shouldn't do is go below the competitive amount. Right. So I was actually on the phone with a woman the other day. Well, Michelle, there's eight other firms in my area. so I know all their prices. So I went about 25% below that. Oh, as okay. If, as if so like now you're like a competitive advantage. I'm the <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the competitive advantage she took. No wonder she's having problems. Yeah. 